everyone welcome back to my channel Patronosaurus Reads. I'm Katie aka Patronosaurus and I read. So today I'm going to be doing the June Owl Crate unboxing. I'm so excited. I got this yesterday but I didn't have time to film and I've been seeing people post their I'll fix that later. Um, I've been seeing people post their um their unboxings and I'm like oh, I can't watch it yet I don't I don't want to know I don't want to know what's in there um I do know the book I guessed the book when we got the clue hint last month because they're not sneaky like I'll create you ain't slick we know um so I figured out what book it was as soon as I read what our little clue was and I was really excited about it and then someone on Goodreads also like on their review of that book were like at the very beginning in bold this is the June Owl Crate book and I was like why would you post that what if someone wanted to be surprised but I'm super excited about this book I've been anticipating it I'm so excited okay I don't know anything else in the box though I know that the thing that they told us we were gonna get is some kind of coffee which I don't drink really so let's Oh jeez. Okay. Okay, here's the spoiler card. Um, the th it's a theme, Libraries of Wonder. I even remembered before I looked at it because Libraries of Wonder's on back. So here's our little spoiler card. Um, it's a girl sitting by by a dude, and he has horns. Okay, right on the top, I see our coffee. Ooh, okay, I like the theme though. I'll create exclusive book bow brew. Bell's Library. Nutty, bright, a touch of this provincial life. I feel like I can smell it. I like the smell of coffee, but I usually don't like the taste. Um, but my roommate drinks a lot of coffee, so I'll probably just give this to her. And this is already pre-ground, and she buys most of her coffee as, like, the whole beans, and then she grinds them. So when she's running out of time, that kind of sucks. So I'll give her this. She'll really like it. Maybe I'll try it. Um, so, great. First, Good item. Beauty and the Beast is my favorite Disney movie. So that's exciting. Okay, here's the pin. I'm not gonna look at it yet. I wanna save it until right before the book. Okay, here's a little box. Libraries of Wonder coaster set. Ooh. Use these adorable coasters to protect the surfaces in your home library, featuring quotes by Sarah J. Mass, Victoria Schwab, J.K. Rowling, and Rachel Kane. Designed with love by Katie P. Letters. Who's Rachel Kane? I know all the rest of them. Who's Rachel Kane? I'm sure I know what she's written. Okay. We also have like 10,000 coasters at our house and yet we still seem to run out. Why can I not open this? So it's always good to have more coasters, especially if they're cute. And we got that water bottle from KDP Letters last month and I really like that. I like that they're not having KDP Letters give us like standard like journal journal-y items. I like that they're having them design okay open it on the bottom they're having them design you know fun stuff like coasters and water bottles okay this one says when in doubt go to the library that is of course from our love Hermione Granger does it say on the back no okay so these only have the quote on them they don't say what book they're from imagine a place where the dead rest on shelves like books I don't know that one I'm not for sure where that's from. Books spoke mind to mind, soul to soul, across the abyss of time and distance. Okay. Libraries were full of ideas, perhaps the most dangerous and powerful of all weapons. Okay, I've, I've read that. I know I've read that. What is that one from? The only one I know for sure is the first one, the Harry Potter one. So you guys have to let me know in the comments what these are from because I'm dumb and I don't remember. Um, I like that these all have different designs. I'm assuming kind of related to the books that they're from, but maybe they're just kind of whatever. But I like that they're not all the same design, just with different quotes. I like that they have different color palettes and stuff. So it's also really fun. Um, this is a key. I don't know what this is. Is it a pen? It's just a pen. Okay. Um, is that on the spoiler card? 
write book reviews using your super cute key gel pen and who knows maybe you'll unlock secret passageways with it too chosen just for you by team alcray okay this feels like they couldn't think of a cool thing to put in the box and so they gave us this like it's kind of cool but is it a color or is it just no it's just a black pen okay this is a little bit of a bummer okay more worms uh, okay something in oh what it oh these are oh bookends okay 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 or maybe they just had to um put in an item that didn't cost as much money because i'm sure these were expensive oh you can't magical lamp post bookends oh like from narnia guys these are so fun okay um they're so pretty and on the bottom i don't know if you can see it has um like a little filigree detail okay okay who designed this does it say Design with love by Hey Atlas Creative. Use these beautiful bookends in your home library and you'll always carry a piece of Narnia with you. Yeah, like Narnia. Okay, I forgive the key. The key pen is fine. Okay, a fabric item. Okay, it's a tote bag. It's from Strange the Dreamer. I didn't even have to read the quote and I saw a moth and I was like, oh, okay. Dream up something wild and improbable. Lainey Taylor. I love this so much. I'm assuming this is the City of Weep. And it has the moths and the and the color palette. This is really beautiful. Who made this? Is there a tag on here? Or do I have to look at the spoiler card? Okay, hang on. Um, it was designed by Stella Bookish Art. Okay. So that's who designed this tote bag and I love it. I have a lot of tote bags, but I always want more. Okay, and here's the book. Ooh, it's pretty. But let's look at the Let's look at the pin first. It says Child of the Library and it's purple and green, which is fitting because the regular cover of this book is green. But this edition is purple. It's Sorcery of Thorns. This is her follow-up to An Enchantment of Ravens, which was her debut. It came out last year or maybe late 2017. I know lots of people didn't like that book. It was very hit or miss, but I liked it. It was a four star for me and I could see with her writing something a little bit longer that it would have been a five star. So I anticipate this being a five star read. And purple is my favorite color. I love this. I haven't looked at the regular cover too in depth, so I didn't even know there was a sword here, but there's a sword here. Um, it has an eye on the back. Wow. Okay, is the naked book pretty? Okay, it's just a regular book. It doesn't have anything like on it, but it does have the purple on the spine, which makes me think maybe the hardback is also different than the hardback in other editions. Like maybe it's green on the regular one. Um, I'm assuming this is signed. Yep. Signed. It came with a sticker that has a quote, magic can twist the purest hearts. That was the letter from the author. Hang on. Okay, let's see what she wrote us. Dear reader, if this book were as, sometimes with these handwritten letters, I'm like, I can't read it. Dear reader, if this book were as dangerous as the ones that lurk within its pages, your Alcrate box would have arrived inside a locked metal coffer bound shut with iron chains. Fortunately, the novel you're about to read does not have a mind of its own and is considerably less likely to turn into a monster. My entire life I've been captivated by magical libraries and fiction. The Hogwarts restricted section, the Clayers library in Liriel. Is that those Garth Nix books? I haven't read those. I don't understand that reference. The Wondrous Bookshelves in the Beast's Castle. As a lonely girl who looked to books for companionship, those places were as close to paradise as I could imagine, regardless of their danger. So when it came time to write my next book, it seemed natural to set it in such a library and to make the heroine a friend to books, no matter how monstrous and frightening they might appear. I hope that Sorcerer of Thorns becomes a friend to you too, that it is a sanctuary if you need one, and that you find companionship alongside its unconventional found family of a librarian, a sorcerer, and a demon. 
Sincerely, Margaret Rogerson. Oh, on the back it has the thing. I didn't even look at the side. Okay. It's about a magical library. That's basically all I know about this book. I don't want to know anymore. Let's look at next month's thing. Our, um, what next month's theme is. The theme of July box is tournaments and trials. Flip for a sneak peek. Every July box will include the next mug in our series from artist Kara Zozik. P.S. If you're already a subscriber, your account will automatically renew. Yay. Okay, so here's a little spoiler card. And then we're gonna get a mug. Yes, I love mugs. I was about to order a new mug online for the Adventure Zone, but I might wait until after I get this one because we're running out of space in our cabinet for mugs. Okay. Hey guys. I don't know what just happened. My camera just didn't record the end of my video. Um, so I was talking about mugs. Um, next month's theme is tournaments and trials. Get ready for a celebration of some of the most thrilling and nerve-wracking competitions in YA literature. Our book pick for July features a young girl disguising herself as a boy to try out for the role of the Emperor's Ma Imperial Tailor. With a high-stakes competition and an epic magical quest, this book was a wild ride from beginning to end. We'll be including an exclusive edition, which will be signed by the author. You can also expect exciting items inspired by Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, which is my favorite Harry Potter book. The Hunger Games, The Selection, The Night Circus, and A Gathering of Shadows. Um, and they're talking about the mug again. Okay. I have read the synopsis for that book, like for the actual book, but I don't remember which one it is, but I remember not being like super excited about it, but we'll see if that's what's coming in next month's box. Um, if you got this box, tell me what your favorite item was. If you didn't get this box and you're just watching me unbox it, tell me what your favorite item is. Um, leave a comment, like, and subscribe. That's what YouTubers say. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!